Morán, mira, ahí viene Meche a bailar Bugalulla. some new lady and I think she's the fucking brute force behind the tie <laughs> I saw her hands Dude. they're like they're mitts they're construction mitts the one morning you, I was like oh, no I'll take your laundry and you were like are you sure you're gonna be able to carry both yeah that's like, how you got what? half my clothes <laughs> <laughs> you should see how slow Chris walks after the gym oh my god like after a workout yeah it's well, it's almost it's almost I feel like he's doing it purposely because I brought it up so many times how slow he walks and no. after the gym, dude, it's like, I don't even know how you do it. No. I, I, couldn't I, I also get dumber, like the hour after I go to the gym, I'm unused, <laughs> my brain is unusable. So that translates even more into legs where it's just like, if they don't, I don't, I don't need to, like, <laughs> the last thing I'm gonna do is exert myself. How's your ass feel today? Fine, actually. My legs feel fine. It's, it's usually day two. Tomorrow, dude, you know what's been crazy? I've been lucid dreaming. Like, my dreams are insane. Across the street. Last night, I was, last night, I was no joke on a big boat in heavy seas. And I was like, I was like, this is a dream. This is fully a dream. And in order to prove to myself that it was a dream, I shoved someone off the boat <laughs> into the ocean. Shut up. And killed them. Why don't you just say hi to them? <laughs> I don't know, because I wanted to see what everyone else's reaction was to make sure I was dreaming. Well, what were their reactions? Oh my God, they this guy like, just killed like, They were like, no, that's fine. And I was like, knew I was oh dreaming. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was nuts. Dude, you broke was, the third wall. Well, there was a piece of me that was worried because I was lucid dreaming so much that I was like, Am I am I dreaming? Because I yeah. would be like, I'm dreaming. And then I'd be like, wait, what if like some secret cult has dosed me with acid? And this is actually like, I'm just like, like, you're, I'm, I'm trapped somewhere. Your mind the is- The only way to get, the only way to prove that I'm definitely dreaming is to kill someone <laughs> and then and see if there's any consequences. <laughs> and it worked. Your mind is an absolute <laughs> prison. <laughs> I wouldn't wish your mind on Dude, anyone. It was incredible. Your mind naturally developed like you've been in isolation. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like fucking, you know how they put like a serial killers in a four by four cell? Yeah. It takes them 20 years to get to your skull. <laughs> I have spent a lot of time by myself. Just emotional and mental the course breakdowns. of my life. Just a lot of days you don't feel like waking up and just hanging out in the room. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've done at least five years of solitary confinement. <laughs> Tommy had to Hi, do Giselle. laundry and we forgot bay leaves. Is it 30? 29. 29 is pretty close. I'm usually dead on. I've been doing this for years. Do you give yourself a window, a one or two pound window? Two pound is respectable. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's pretty good. But if you, you spot on, you walk differently home. <laughs> you know I mean? Thank you so much. I'll see you soon. All right, I forgot to. Yeah. Well, I didn't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> this is good though. This is good. We, I, you know, I have to go to Sea Town for bay leaves, and you guys can fuck off because this is very embarrassing. <laughs> this is the last Tommy time. Tommy has a hard time walking through the neighborhood with uh, cameras around. It'd be so much healthier if we had different sides of the street. <laughs> <laughs> You'd hear me shuffling my feet over. Oh there. yeah, hundred percent. I'm like he's somewhere. <laughs> they didn't have them Ooh. in the giant container like I like. Oh, those look fresh. Though. They're nice, right? Yeah. I don't think I've ever used a fresh bay leaf. I bet it's great. I bet it smells better. Probably oh, yeah. better than the jar. Uh, they're not fragrant. Oils come out of them? Yeah, maybe? it's gotta be. Well, definitely, but I just don't know what the actual flavor is. When you bite into that, it doesn't taste like anything? I don't think you're supposed to eat raw bay leaves. 
Why? I don't know. I think it's a thing. This is what New York should be, though. Like, I want yeah. noise like this. Yeah. Not waking me up by my bedroom, but you want... Activity. You like when you go, like, you want shit, like, going oh, some jerk are. off trying to get through yeah. the traffic. Yeah. You, this makes it something. Yeah. You know, like, you go to, like, fucking, like, Harrisburg or something. And, and it's just, just silence. dead silence. Yeah, but still a city. Look how beautiful that Mack truck is. Should we cross? Hold on, we got a car. <laughs> you got the bump. Yeah. I don't know who the fuck this is. I don't know. Maven? Marrick. Marrick? Is that the last lady? <laughs> You're about five minutes late. Whoop. Look at Ish. Episode four. Could be five. Could be five. Who knows? Yeah, I think it's five. Yeah. yeah. So we're getting inventive with this fifth episode. This is something that I... This is pound for pound. One of the most impressive meals. That, <laughs> what? That pound you, for pound. It is. Pound for pound. There's eight fucking pounds of beef right yeah. there. That's four and a half. We did two batches. For the magic of television, I'm going to pull out one that's already cooked because this takes about three and a half hours. It's time! It is fucking time. I'm getting jacked up. So... This is short rib ragu, and what I meant by pound for pound before this fucking dude insulted me, is this is the most, I think, impressive meal to give to somebody because the, the depth of flavors and the, the, sim, the simplicity of the cook. Yeah, it's, it's a, a warm, feel-good meal. It is, and yeah. we only have, we're on the fucking tail end of spring here. Uh, at the beginning, tail end of fall. This is for winter. You know what? <laughs> Times are changing, and yeah. this is a this is a meal you can make in any sort of weather. But this is a nice cold weather meal. Once and spring hits, it's summer for you. It is. Yeah. Oh, 100 percent. When you <laughs> yeah, see the fucking tan, yeah. I'm gonna get one more month, dude. You're gonna have to fix cameras. We're gonna change cameras. <laughs> you're gonna look ridiculous. You're gonna look like you're dying. I'm gonna stay white. You know, yeah. I, I wear I wear a full long sleeve yeah. turtleneck. The only time I wear a turtleneck is at the beach. Dude, you're gonna be so ill looking. It's gonna look like a make a wish. Like this is your <laughs> this is your final dish. So this uh, this is gonna be short rib ragu. Ragu is just a it's basically meat. It's a meat sauce. That's yeah. what ragu is. That's what the Degos call meat sauce. Okay. Typically, it's it's made with uh, with a pasta, you know, like a pappardelle or even like a gnocchi or. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Pappardelle. Instead, because this takes a good bit of time for this episode, we're just going to do a, a polenta. Okay. With some parm and butter. Very simple because there's again the depth of flavor in this is so fucking wonderful. You want to keep it very simple on the bottom. I'll go through the quick ingredients. I think it's like mashed potatoes almost. Oh, man. Yeah, it's mashed potatoes in the mouth. It looks like it's mashed, mashed potatoes. potatoes. Well, it, it has a creamy texture, like okay. a like a yes. It's corn. Okay, it's not potato. It's hundred percent corn flour. It's corn potatoes. And this is from Palos. So Palo, if you want to reach out for some sponsorship, <laughs> Power. And you know it's foreign because uh, the directions say two liters <laughs> of water boil. I don't know how many fucking liters is in, or cups in two. We'll have to look that up. 500 grams of flour, that's a fucking, whew, that's gonna be another look up. So polenta underneath and then uh, very simple. I use about two to three stalks of celery, five small carrots, uh, the herbs, thyme, rosemary, parsley. And we're gonna make a little cheesecloth. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Cause otherwise when this cooks for so long, all of this will disintegrate like the meat and you don't want that uh, yeah, in each, like a, in each yeah. bite. I yeah. used to do it like that because I didn't know what cheesecloth was. This will change. It's a game changer. It's like fucking three dollars on Amazon. Don't be a dickhead. My close friend growing up, his name was Paolo. Yeah, Paolo in Connecticut. Yeah, Paolo. where was he hiding from? What well, the hell, dude? He was he was like second or third generation. Yeah, yeah, like wealthy Paolo. That sucks, dude. Did he Paolo lose the language? Paolo no Cheeto. No. Wow. Yeah, no. And I would go over there every day. They had um, like a housekeeper. Yeah. And every time I walked in the door, she said, Hey, Cuddy. Fuck, this is hot. Hey, Cuddy. What, hey, Cuddy. What was his full yeah. name again? Paolo Centenocito. Pure sex. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a sexy guy. Speaking of panty off. He's a drummer. Yeah. That is, that's a panty off name, but this dish is also panty off <laughs> for, for ants. Like this your name is in Paolo Centenocito. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to have to work on this dish. Yeah, yeah. If your name's Chris O'Connor, you better learn <laughs> yeah, yeah, how to yeah. make this dish. Yeah. But this is a holiday fucking banger, dude. Like, you've been, and Easter's coming up. You make this and bring a tub to, uh, you know, Aunt Lori. She's going <laughs> to she's gonna blush and get a little smoky dokey. <laughs> I am genuinely starting to come around to the idea that if I start cooking, 
things are gonna change for me. Yes, <laughs> I of like, course. I was thinking about it, yeah, yeah last yeah, night. Yeah. I was like, man, if I did learn how to cook. Well, that's the whole point of the show. Have you yeah, not been fucking be listening? Nice. My mom would be excited. Yeah. Are you, uh, so Chris went My to- My mom didn't really, well, every time I go home, she's like, tries to teach me like a dish from her like father's recipe book. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, Is it handwritten? Right. Cause that's well, really yes. good. Oh, yes. Oh, it's so hot. Sentimental. And like, if it's, if it is like an old one that's printed, he's got notes in the, in the- Yeah, yeah I've yeah. seen, I know, I know someone that has a ledger of like their, their great grandmother and it's like, the old Italian handwriting was there. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's like, that cursive. It's yeah, that, like yeah, you can almost see her large hanging breast <laughs> through, like, <laughs> through, like, through one of those through the cues. Yeah, 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 the way she draws the, the yeah. lowercase yeah. Q. And, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's how she the stirs some of the grapes. She <laughs> grabs, grabs a big heater and then uses her nipple. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Italian nona It's a sifter. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. So what we do is we sear the meat off. I, I'll go through all this process, but the, and then the, the sauce itself is a mixture of beef broth and wine. Cool. And that's it, there's no water at it, none of that shit. To thicken it, we use a little uh, flour, a little tomato paste, and then we got an onion, two shallots. I use a whole head of garlic, it costs for like half or some shit, but again, one more thing to, to say here is outside of the, the amount of meat, this is four and a half to five pounds of short rib. Uh, most of that weight comes in the bone itself. This cooks for so long, that all of these vegetables, if you use a little less, a little more, I always go a little more even with the herbs because it's so flavorful and dense. This stuff is just gonna melt in your mouth after four hours of cooking. Yeah. You can't cook uh, short rib too long. There's no such thing. In fact, the more you cook it, the better off it is because it integrates more of these flavors and it just becomes like a fucking, you know, Okay, like cool. uh, mashed potatoes in your mouth. Right, so this is that's what makes this easy, is that it's, you know. It's very easy. It's, yeah. you, you cook it and outside of searing. wine strike zone, yeah. Yeah, this is good for you. <laughs> this might be the one you, you should take I home. know, I know, I was thinking about it. I'm gonna show you how to tear this all up, remove the bone. Outside the bone has like this, uh, it's almost like a cartilage. You know how we were talking about with the yeah, steaks? Yeah, where yeah. Like, don't cut off the excess fat. Is it ligature? It's they kind of that I, ligature? I think that ligature? sounds good. That sounds about right. Uh, but that I remove because it's it's not something. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. It's, it's like a condom caught in your meat. You don't <laughs> uh, the cheese itself was just for topping, and then we're also gonna make I'm gonna make a cheese cheesy polenta because again, keep it simple: butter and, and cheese. Cool. I, I can talk myself in circles here, but that's fucking it. This is a very simple dish, but it. Uh, the responses will be whoa! Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> this fucking rules. Yeah. Simple so, dish. Some dish yeah. on this sluggish. Let's do it. Yeah, let's go. This is it. This is the the, the cutting part. <laughs> <laughs> nah, fucking, you, you sit around and wait for. Yeah, I know you lost all your momentum. Yeah, I'm fucking like, out. All right, right now comes the cutting yeah. part. Yeah. <laughs> we just had a blast <laughs> walking through the streets. Now we just get to fucking cut vegetables and talk about nothing. <laughs> all right, so uh, this chop is very basic. It's uh, as I said because it's such a long cook. Everything just starts to, to you know melt together in that in that sauce. So, cut the rubber band off. Yeah, I'm not gonna use that rubber band. There's gotta be a little expression for this, nuts and butts or something like that. Take the ends and tips off. <laughs> you just did it, bud. <laughs> That's why you're here, and all nuts and butts. <laughs> nuts all and butts come off. And uh, so let me show you how to cut these while I get Call this the breaths. bris. This is all going in, this garlic is not going into the beef broth for some fucking reason, but yeah. uh, uh, these guys. This is fine as is, but you, what you like to do is you, you like to split everything so you have a flat edge okay. while chopping. Okay. It just makes it easier so it doesn't roll. It's safer. But also this the smaller parts here you, you just hold and, and you're just looking for like a like like a a disc you're, 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 around. You're, you're, it doesn't matter. All this stuff time. is going to melt into the the stew, as I said, so size doesn't matter too much. Just try and keep it relatively the same. I'm not gonna say fucking mouthfeel, but you want it to have a certain uh, a certain size for every bite. Bite size. A bite size, yeah. Celery, I just whack off some of the, uh... <laughs> what? <laughs> what I do? Whack off? Come on, dude. Some of the, uh, you know... You knew what you were doing. The dead parts. They're not even dead, but... You understand? So here, if you want to practice that, uh, that finger trick... As so you throw it in the back here, and then slide it, and you keep your, your knife in the same position, and you're just pushing the edge straight. Just a little uh, more accurate. A little more control. See, see, see. Yeah, pinch your blade here, up top, with it's more control like this. Yeah. Yeah, and you're just rocking in the same position. And you'll get the push down. Less pressure on your, 
Don't be pushing it down. Don't don't put pressure from here. Yeah. That way you just slide a little easier. Okay. And you just rock it back and forth. If you wish, but you can also just chop down. I don't want to And again, this is very fucking, you know, a rough chop. As long as you don't drop everything on the floor, Sorry. you're fine. I like moving a knife. Yeah, so this is a, you know, we can... We have a knife I, move. Kind usually of you would prep you know? a little bit of this so it's not as slow. We're not talking about uh, nothing. My left thumb. We're not even speaking to each other at this point, which is great. My left thumb. Everybody needs a break. All right, Chris, you want to do this onion? And I'll finish off with the boring shit. Sure. I'd love to do the onion. One medium onion. Like I said, uh, three or four carrots. Two or three celery. If you have four and you want to get rid of shit, just so I throw go right down the gut here. Yeah, right down the asshole. Take okay. off the lingerie, and yeah. then you do the bop, 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 yep. slice. Yeah, slice. See, I feel like the true key, if you're gonna get laid cooking, is a good chop. If you can't chop well, well you're it doesn't matter you, how good the food is. You gotta be good with your hands? You think it's impressive to, for a woman to see you like... Yeah, 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 moving, 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 yeah, moving, yeah. moving, accurate, precise, type it. There's also a rhythm to it. It's very, uh, it's like a drum. A symphony. Yeah. And it's dangerous. It's yeah, very dangerous. It's dangerous. It shows you as a man, yeah. you're capable it's true. of tackling an onion or a bear. You're fucking <laughs> potential. Exactly. I want that guy to have my babies. All right, we're you going. ever seen him cut a scallion? I want him to we go, go this way first. Me. Yeah. Palm. Palm. Mm -hmm. Smell that hair. It smells good. Mmm. Just watch. That's that plus. What do you use? You just use whatever I buy. Yeah, I use whatever's in there. Of course. I think right now we're rocking swabs. The two pack on Amazon, I can't. You never fight. Carrots, it's like swallowing cotton. I shouldn't have done that. But uh, yeah, the two pack on Amazon is, it's the best deal. And it's good quality stuff. Really? Yeah. I would have thought I would have pegged you for an expensive shampoo bag. No. no, no. I spent my money on the wax. Yeah, the you know, finishing it's, product. it's all post-production. <laughs> yeah, you're just cleaning the, the old wax off, you know? You can't let that settle, because it fucks up. Uh, like right now, I have a very long hair, currently. Matted it down by wax. I have to change because I have dense, thick hair. You know, Mediterranean, thick hair. I've seen you air, uh, air blowing it, blow drying it. I don't even know what it's, what it's called. It's called air barn. Yeah, in some parts of the country. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't blow, you don't blow dry your hair at all. No, you let it air dry. Do you put a product in? I don't either, but every time I do, it it all feels fantastic. Yeah, it's a nice warm up, right? Yeah. I like, dude, oh, I miss it. I only got my hair oh, done. Oh, fuck, <sighs> You can go a little thicker than that. Thicker than that? Yeah, I will just do what you're doing. Yeah, I said a half inch thick. Oh, my bad, dude. Here's how you cut it on See this way? The layers are already going this way. If you want a dice, a fine dice. Cut, 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 turn it. Cut, 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 and then down. Your hand up top. And you cry too. You yeah, got man. emotions. He's nah. got emotions. Look at him. I really. It's really unpleasant. It's not that big of a deal. Just have to. Uh, Season uh, the meat up. Oh. I'll do that here and then. Jesus Christ, will you stop? It's not the fucking thing. <laughs> Look at me, dude. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Look at me. Is that real? Yeah. Oh what do you think I'm faking? <laughs> oh my god, dude. You're damaged. Half inch, Ali? This is. <laughs> you're making hamburgers. Call me. Call me this is atrocious. My nose is plugging it's up. It's like too. you didn't learn anything. This is what they put on McDonald's cheeseburgers. <laughs> See, yeah, I, I feel, feel like, like the true key, key if you're gonna get laid in cooking is a good chop. chop. If you can't chop well, it doesn't saying? matter how good the food is. What the fuck? And again, this is actually a good lesson. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get over this. Is this fucking real? <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh my God. <laughs> 
I'm really fucked up. Wow, dude. <laughs> really is, this, well. is this genetic? Do you think like uh, Irish I'm people with lighter eyes well. are more affected? I think it's because he's never cried before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all pouring out. He's dreaming about pushing people yeah. off boats. I've had a rough couple of days. Yeah. <laughs> all you're doing is just thinking about your, your dreams last night. Yeah. Yeah. Finally hit me emotionally. I'm murder someone to find out I was dreaming. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Yeah, so this is actually a good lesson. Uh, you can't really cook the vegetable that, that incorrectly with the, a cook this long. So even though it looks like shit, it'll still, it'll blend well into the sauce. Yeah, it's all gonna, it's all gonna Yeah, reduce. don't you talk yourself out of this. You're still <laughs> fucked up. I'm talking you out. Hey, man, this is why you do it. <laughs> You Go know? get yourself ready. <laughs> Go use a hair dryer on your fucking face. I'm leaking all over the place, dude. I mean, seriously, need, I need to take a break. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even talk. Dude, I'm just not break. coming out of my nose. God damn it, dude. Uh, two shallots, one medium onion, five, six carrots, two, three stalks of celery. I use a whole bulb, bulb of, uh, of garlic, and I basically just, I'll do a smash. It doesn't have to be fine dice because again, it's it's three hours. Yeah, cooked. don't it's, do fine dice on the onions. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, yeah, while we're doing a smash and let these out out of their dress, and then. Uh, what do you do if your lady walks in while you're cooking her a meal and you're crying and there's snot going out of your head? <laughs> wow, Chris. What happens then? Do you have any techniques? I don't think anyone would believe those tears are coming from an onion. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that in my life. I'm coming back to life. The amount of tears you fucking shed. <laughs> you gotta get some water in you, you're dehydrated. What? Yeah, you just cried all your fucking moisture out. <sighs> ah. It right. really does feel like I had an emotional experience. I'm just taking off the... Look, if you haven't cried in a while. I cried last night. <laughs> I fucking did. I get a good cry in like once every like six weeks. Really? Yeah. That's just why, weep? That's in the bedroom? Yeah. I, I, no, I, yeah, in my bedroom. But it's a it's a very intense forty five seconds, you know, where it's it's the breathing, the tears. It's you know you know what in sports when something uh, I can always relate to sports or something <laughs> like uh, if you strike out or something and you yell fuck to the sky with all your might and then all of a sudden your the tinglys come back and your yeah. nerves are done. It's it's like your emotions saying fuck it as loud as they can. Yeah. So it's really intense for a little bit and then you're like. Your breath comes back. You're like, yeah, it's not that bad. Yeah, yeah. Sure. It's like a 30 second cry is my thing. Yeah, go straight, yeah. straight through. Yeah, I cry once every 10 years. Do you know if, if I? <laughs> <laughs> well, guess what? You're yeah, not right. gonna cry again if, until <laughs> yeah, it's another eight years. Because yeah. yeah, you know yeah. that cry I caught you crying. Remember that on the couch? Oh yeah, Can we talk yeah, about yeah, this? yeah, yeah, yeah. That that started our friendship. <laughs> it's true. It that did. was. That was because amazing. we didn't really know each other until yeah. that point. I was crying on and the couch. And you were in a depressed state in that in that yeah. hole. Yeah. And then I bopped around and I was like, "Who the fuck is this dude?" Because you're pretty. Come out, came you know, out to take a whiz. You'd only come out for that rocket horse piss of yours. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, and then you go right back to your hole. And I was like, "This couch. guy's fucking crazy." Yeah. I got Shane vouched for him, so I was like, "You can't be that bad." And then, <laughs> then I met him. I was like, "This dude is a f serial killer." Dude. Yeah. He only sleeps after he kills. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and I came out one night. It was probably three in the morning, and you were on the couch crying. And I was like, oh man, you all right, dude? Yeah. And then we sat, look at this. <laughs> we should make you cry again. <laughs> and then we sat down and I started think that's bonding. Taste nice. And then, uh, yeah, then we hung out every day for the rest of our lives. <laughs> now I'm stuck in this now fucking we're misery. in a marriage. So, yeah. All right, so I'm just smashing, undressing these, like I said, and then we're going to add these when we do the. I'm just getting rid of all the, all the prep. I like to use this thing to smash because I, I like to protect the blades. Yeah. It also gives you a wide, it can't slip out from underneath you. Yeah, dude, pull on that. After saying something so wise, you gotta fucking pull hard. Yeah, dude, it's contemplative. It also is something that I can't slip away from you. Yeah, if you go with a thin, <laughs> you go with a thin blade, it can, it, can, it can squirt. Yeah, it can squirt. 
ask me. <laughs> you are reeling, man. <laughs> you are reeling. It can squirt on you. All right, so prep is done. That's it. That's it. That was fucking full uncut prep. A lot of these cooking shows, obviously, will do all this shit before, so it's not as awkward. But, uh, we find the time to uh, embarrass ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. No and, cuts, uh, though. Yeah, no cuts. No cuts. As fine as that onion dice was. Yeah. yeah that not was, a single scratch on me. I mean, there's a different shape in every single fucking onion. I don't know how you did it. Oh but uh, you're God. lucky this is a still and I wasn't watching you because I had lo I've, you know, I had confidence after the last two lessons. You've been cutting a good onion. Yeah. yeah you got to go fucking, you got to hit I the know, practice I was field. trying to match the shallots. <sighs> well, again, we're, we're safe here, mm -hmm. buddy. All right. So that's the cut. Uh, I'm not going to shred the cheese till after the, the meat goes in. We're going to make the polenta. The polenta yeah. is instant. It only takes like three minutes, constant movement. Uh, you can use a little milk. I use butter and then cheese. All right, so we want to move over to the stove. Yeah, let's fucking, let's do the stove. But that's oh, it. We're, now we're going a little... Actually, let me salt and pepper this. My mom would hate this. Why? She doesn't like sodium. <laughs> what, what, what do you mean she doesn't like salt? She doesn't like, so, she doesn't like sodium. Too much sodium just thinks it, it What's gonna the happen? heart. What? Oh. It's bad for your heart. Okay. That kind of makes... Little sense, but yeah. If you so, make, what does she does? She avoid certain dishes. Uh, no, she'll just like if you made if you made her this, she'd be like, ooh. She'd take one bite and go, ooh, that's nice. <laughs> God, that's like my mother too. <laughs> it's maybe an Irish thing. <laughs> yeah. mm, that's nice. You want a whole bowl? No, too much soda. That's exactly what my mom does. She'll she'll compliment it, but yeah. never go back for a second bite. <laughs> she goes, I I ate a while ago. <laughs> Dude, we, there's this restaurant in Philadelphia. Or it's outside. It's outside. <laughs> She'll lie, and then you'll see her like in the kitchen, like like a rat eating like yeah, leftover pizza. Eating yogurt. Yeah. Oh, I just want a little something. No, no, sit down, enjoy yourself. Instead of just going, ew, what is this shit? I'm gonna order a pizza. This is fucking mm. gross. Uh, there's this place called Tallulah's, Tallulah's Garden in uh, Philly. Uh, it's, I think it's Westchester. Yeah, Westchester. It takes a year to get a reservation because they only have two tables, a table of eight or a table of 12. And during COVID, my parents got lucky and we went to Tallulah's. It's a fixed menu, 12 courses, 13 courses, and they bring out like mouge bouche and shit. So it's like 20 it's fucking mouge courses. Bouche? My mother ate one. What's a mouge bouche? Yeah, it's you a, can't be saying that right. Yeah, it's, a, it's like, a, <laughs> like an appetizer. It's like a foreign appetizer. It's what the uh, Europeans is like. This anyone, can anyone on. decipher what a mouche bouche is? Oh, I'm shit on. I don't know what a fucking mouche bouche is. It's like little <laughs> little plates. How do you spell it? I think it's mouth bite. Yeah, I it is little it's mouth French, bites. It's French for like happy mouth. Yeah. Mouth bite. I want to see how you Google this. I want to see <laughs> how you spell it. Mouche bouche. This is how you say it, right? A mouche bouche. A mouche bouche. A mouche bouche. A mouche bouche. All right. So here goes the meat. We got a medium high heat because we want to get a nice sear on this beef. And again, uh, you're just caramelizing this meat. Yeah. A nice crispy uh, outside. Back exterior. It's, it's not going to hold its consistency because uh, you're, you're obviously boiling it forever. But no olive oil. Use vegetable oil because you're cooking at such a high heat, it's going to smoke. This has a high, high smoke yeah. point. I always go higher. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it high. doesn't smoke for high heat. You can use uh, safflower oil, sunflower oil, vegetable oil, corn oil. Just no olive. Let's wait till that gets super hot it before will. we drop it them will. in. It will. It absolutely. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> I mean, super hot. Yeah, super hot. Super hot. That should be enough. Let's do a little test. A little I think test it, should, it should sizzle when you put it in there. It's not sizzling. Fuck. It should sizzle more than that. It will. It should just drop in. This fast is cook on the outside. So great, Chris. I love when he does crisp. this. Crisp. It should be a golden brown, mm -hmm. super crisp. Mm -hmm. If it's turned into a grayish thing, no, it's not hot enough. You want to bet a thousand dollars this doesn't turn gray? When I flip, uh, that one in particular, <laughs> that one in particular, <laughs> that one in particular. Oh, oh, oh no, that one in particular will turn gray. All right, so the, you'll you'll feel the bone on these. I always go meat side down if you can. This one is kind of hard on both sides, so you try and hit. It might, depending on the batch. This is four and a half to five pounds. If you don't have a lot of room, you don't have to overcrowd. Because, all right, like this. This is all meat. Meat side down. And you're gonna try and get a sear on all sides if you can. Again, it doesn't, 
It doesn't matter too much. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait on the next batch here. Just yeah. keep these as is. Get a bowl for the meats after this is seared. And don't, uh, no fucking comments about the, how dirty this is because we didn't do a batch last night and I didn't feel like cleaning it because there's a stranger in my house where I woke up in a row. I don't have time to clean. It's clean and clean. Well, well, so this is part of the charm of this, you know? Yeah, is that it's disgusting. Of this kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not disgusting, it's just it, natural. It's yeah, not fucking, yeah. it's not contrived. Not, yeah. It's not over the top. It's not all fancy brand new metals. It's gonna be like how you're cooking. Yeah, that's this feels it's, like that's what it's this like. This feels like you're borrowing your you know, Arnold's Viking fucking stove. That's, One day, baby. Yeah, yeah. Let's get this page. <laughs> Shout out to our Patreon. Yeah. Thanks for supporting. After we go to Monza, we're getting a Viking stove. I just want a hood that sucks all the smoke yeah. out, so that we don't have to. All my clothes are. That's why I took it to the. You think that even goes outside? Yeah, it's probably it's a family probably event birds right there. This is a whole. There. Yeah. It's a whole. Uh, it should be an Alley easy thing to fix. Ventilation. Yeah. Watch yourself, bud. You want to check the underside of that? You can. You feel good about it? I think it's. I think it's going to be a little bit gray. Cool. And this, the, the parts that stick is fine. It's all going to come That's up once good. we hit it with wine. Yeah, that it. creates a fond. There you go. That's nice. I'm all cry out. And our fucking stove. Is on a on a slant, so the oil has to kind of suddenly shift around a little bit. That's gray. You let them sit for a while. You can't overcook. Can't stress that's, that enough. That's not bad. That's got a little golden brown to it. That's what you like to see. It is funny when he takes over, like he knows what he's doing, isn't it? That's not terrible, but a little little gray. I feel like you want it to be. A little more crispy than that. The crispiness doesn't matter. You just lock it in the flavors. Sealing it. Because it's going to cook for hours anyway, so you're not, all this is going to go away. When do you see the, that's the nice. final product? That's a nice little crisp. All engines turn. Nice. Yeah, you turn that boy. And all the bits that are on there, are just gonna get picked up when we integrate the wine. That's nice, that's a little bit tricky. I forgot something. What'd you forget? You know what? And this is another example. I forgot port wine. Sometimes uh, in these in these recipes, they call for a sherry wine or a port wine, which is just like, you'll have, it's one of those ingredients like uh, buttermilk. They sell in an enormous container because they know you're never going to use it again. And it's the only way, you know, it's like a piano. Like you're not coming back to the piano shop for another hundred fucking years. Cherry wine or, or port wine, sherry wine, they give you this giant, like, it's like a gallon. And you only use like a half a cup. So I just put an extra half, extra half cup of red wine. I use a whole bottle of red wine. It's very simple. That was a pretty sexy story, huh? I thought it worked out. It started shaky, but at the end, a whole bottle of red wine. This is when Rachel Race, a whole audience would be like, ooh! They put one glass of red wine and all these fucking ladies think they're getting hammered. You're cooking off the alcohol, none of it fucking matters. We should start drinking. Look at all these shitty onions. That's, it takes your eye off them. You gotta bury the inconsistency. So we're just repurposing all this oil with the vegetable. So you don't have to add any more. Some recipes will ask you to siphon the fat off. If it's a very fatty meat or you okay. use too much oil, you can, once we pull this this batch out, you'll see maybe a thin layer, but I, I don't yeah, usually, no. We have like 30 minutes of golden brown comments from you. Well, I think the fucking, I think the people understand by now. The most important thing to me is the golden brown. I see that. You're very hard up on the golden brown. I'm proud of you. Yeah. As long as you're passionate about something, that way you'll fucking, yeah. You'll remember that nog of yours. That square fucking skull. Was your mom out of work for like an extra, <laughs> an extra year squeezing that dome a, out? I was a big boy. I bet. You gonna lower this a little bit for the veg? Yeah. It's like a medium, because this is gonna be very hot entry. All the juices that are gonna be in here, while this meat settles, is going right back into the pot as well. It's just natural beef stock.
Yeah, we're good. Let's go. The vegetable. Here as well, I put in a little heat, just a little cayenne. You can adjust taste once you finish, but it's probably a good amount for the average palate. Chris will probably start crying, but. <laughs> Too much sodium. <laughs> Too much sodium. <laughs> oh, I never finished that story about my mom. She, it's a very expensive dish. Obviously it takes a year to get the, the reservation. Yeah. And going in, I told my brother, I was like, dude, this is like my mom's worst nightmare. It's mom's worst nightmare. And she, yeah. he's like, he's like, I already talked to the <laughs> He got ahead of me and he talked to the um <laughs> He goes, I got I got way ahead of it. I already talked to the, the waitress. Yeah. And I was like, what? What are you what are you telling me? Mom's <laughs> a fucking picky eater? He goes, No, 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 leftovers. All her plates are being saved. Because it's like high-end food. Yeah. So anything that would get pushed in front of her, she'd go, hmm. And just wouldn't eat just it? Just wouldn't eat it. She ate one thing, it was like chicken. But it comes like fish and uh, there's, she's, she's like a chicken parm at a fancy restaurant. I know. She's the most basic bitch you can imagine. And this is my Irish friend, Chris. <laughs> and I'm gonna teach him how to make the very simplest, the very simplest of Italian dishes. It's a, a parm, a chicken parm. How'd you learn how to Because she didn't have a palate and couldn't cook. But they cooked my brothers. Yeah, she was a night nurse. She cooked. Uh, she worked 12 hours a day. My dad was working at Sears, and then he ran a, a warehouse for the mom. <laughs> <laughs> I figured if I could cook them a sandwich, they wouldn't beat the fuck out of me. Just go along for the ride. She I guess, tries. Does she have a sensitive stomach? No, 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 no. She's just ignorant. Hmm. Yeah, like mushrooms. She'll be like, oh, no, 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 Steve. I'm fine. See, once I realized that I could eat anything without like vomiting or shitting for mo most of the time. Most of the time? Yeah, yeah. It's very rare. You mean po food poisoning or like an ingredient? Yeah, makes you just, shit? yeah, just any, you know, like I got no allergies. Right. Everything I eat goes in fine, comes out pretty compact. This is good. It's story. just like, yeah, yeah. It's like, Chris is a normal shit. So why not, why not just eat whatever they throw in front of me? Right. What's the, the worst that could happen? I it doesn't taste good going in? Your brain is amazing, but I, I don't think my mother's, <laughs> my mother's fear was shitting all over the restaurant. It might be. You I don't think know. it was that her palate was like, no, I don't like this. I don't know. It's like if you change a dog's diet. <laughs> Come on, dog. Just change the bag. In my case, <laughs> the balls on you. No, if you even change brands, a dog would start puking. Right. You know? So if you if, uh, Chris, if she's again, on you're... chicken parm for forty years and you use uh, a different cheese, yeah. she might explode. That'd be great if my dad was just slapping food out of her hand. Like, oh, gee, 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 gee. That's not the typical diet. What's wrong with mom? Yeah, nah, we changed her food. Yeah. <laughs> she fucked up the plumbing last week. Somebody gave her a pee. <laughs> I was out in the backyard plunging shit out of the grass. <laughs> they have a septic tank. <laughs> so this is uh, rough, roughly 10 minutes. Just to make sure the vegetables are translucent. Another reason uh, this none of this fucking matters. It's going to be cooking for so long. <laughs> you know, this is just the process of a normal cook. You, you cook off, bleed all the flavors and stuff. So uh, oh, this is a thickening agent for the, as the stew goes on. Um, so... Once this reduces, yeah, once that, you throw that in, right? Well, once it uh, becomes translucent all around. So this is like a 10 minute cook for the veggies. I drop in tomato paste. That's just concentration of flavor, essentially in the, in the flowers for somewhat of a roux. A roux, yeah, R-U-E, is a balance of fat and flour, 50-50. So it could be oil, which is natural oil in here. So one tablespoon of flour, one tablespoon of olive oil or whatever fat, butter, and that's a thickening agent. And you can cook off the flour with, to, for thickening sauces and things. They Why do you want to thicken it up? You don't want it watery, you want to have like a thicker consistency, like a stew. Okay. So it catches things in a different way, it sticks to 
whatever ingredient, whether right. it's a it's popper like or a chicken pasta. noodle soup. It's yes. Like a, yeah, 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 yeah. It has a different. You want that thicker consistency. So even though we added flour to the other batch as well, we take it out. We're gonna unlit it, cook off some of that uh, water as well, and that oh. that reduces it. Uh, water yeah. reduction will thicken it as well. Cool. And this is probably pretty good here. So this is roughly two tablespoons. Yeah, again, this, this shit doesn't matter. It's all flavor. It's about a half a can of these this small tomato paste. Yeah, Cento. Yeah, from Ireland. Shout out West. <laughs> Shout out West Deptford. Yeah, I can't believe that fucking happened. And flour. This is. That looks nice. One to one and a half tablespoons of flour. That looks like Mount Rainier. <laughs> it does. <laughs> or my end table. <laughs> I do cocaine as much as you cry, so stop talking yeah. about it. It's just my high energy. Yeah, yeah. You say once a decade? Coke, coke on an end table is so much more aggressive than coke on a coffee table. Oh my god! Coke on an end table is like it's yeah. literally like where you put your a glass of water. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a problem. <laughs> yeah, if you're if you're okay with coke on like an end if table, you're, yeah. If commercial breaks, you're just leaning over. <laughs> <laughs> hey, taking a snort. You got a problem. So I just cooked this off for a couple minutes and then we're gonna add the wine. Ooh, wine. Yeah, let's get the fucking Rachel Ray crew going. Get those boring bitches all hot and bothered. All right, this is uh, the wine situation that Burke uh, brought up. Um, okay. Did you say you like to cook with wine and sometimes you put it in the fluid column? <laughs> <laughs> so, for long stews, for long stews you would use, uh, you know, something like, uh, box wine has come a long way, by the way. It has. Yeah, there's, has, there's a lot has. of good quality box wines. This is like $25. Right. Boat is a good one. Uh, the other one I, fr I forget to use. This is uh, for me. <laughs> yeah, I'm drinking the wine right now. the other one? Um, God. Yeah. I forget. We go back and forth. That's for drinking. Yeah, this is for 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 fun. That one you're dumping in there. This one, this is like a. It's a Bordeaux. I I, I, I like Bordeaux's, but I'm more of a cab sab guy. Yeah, well, you'll like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, a Malbec. Where's the uh, bottle opener? What? Bottle opener? Does it look on that cart? Yeah, uh, the rule of thumb, Burke, is a, a lot of people will, will say whatever you're gonna drink, whatever's good enough to drink for you, is what you should add to the, the cook. So the dish you're making, if it requires wine, they say use use a wine you'd be happy drinking. But there's a limit to that. And the limit is, it would be ridiculous to put a $30 bottle of wine into a fucking stew that you're cooking for 30 or three hours. So I use, this is a, I think it's like 12, $13. So anywhere between like 10, eight, or sorry, eight, to 15 is reasonable without feeling guilty. I'll let you taste it if you want. Is it in this one? I don't want to, we had like three of them. Right where I said, my dad would have your ass. Tom, if I go in there and it's exactly where I said it's gonna be. You just said it was on the cart. It is on the, was on the cart. I know, but it was hidden behind a bunch of shit on the cart. Ah, oh, you gotta use your eyes. Well, it should be in the drawer. What drawer? That drawer. Oh, not the wine cart? Yeah, it should be in the drawer. It's always in the I drawer. I should have let you open this because you probably never did that before. No, I have done that before and I can do it better than you on that. Yeah. So, <laughs> I, uh, it calls for like, for, for this cook, can you say that for me, Chris? It calls for uh, two, like two and a half cups of wine and a half cup of the port wine or sherry wine, which I would never drink, but does add a different flavor if you want to do it. I forgot it. In a bottle, I would say there's probably three cups for this experiment. I'm putting the whole fucking thing. You don't have to like worry about too much. I know it looks like a lot, but we're gonna reduce this to half, which is probably gonna take, take at least 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And uh, you're essentially just cooking off all the alcohol. And what do you want to do here? Scrape the bottom, right? Yeah, you can you can move it around. It'll, it'll come off on its own, but you can absolutely do that. Get behind you, Clay. Sorry, bottom. bro. All right, so this wine is reducing 
Only well, needs a couple more minutes. So as we do that, I'm gonna Mike, do- Mike, come over here, let me talk to you about the wine. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. So you can re it's like really strong when it starts boiling. Yeah, it's pungent the, the minute you put it yeah. in. You can smell the alcohol being cooked off essentially. It's not it's not as You kind of want to wait, right? Until it's not Yeah, exactly. So strong. Good boy, Chris. <laughs> Alright, so uh fresh herbs, as Clay said uh during the break. This cheesecloth essentially is a tea bag for the fresh herbs. Because when you use fresh herbs, obviously it's more flagrant. Uh, fragrant rather, and all this like these hard edges will all fall off the stalk for a long cook. If you didn't use a cheesecloth, you get a piece in every fucking bite. It starts to get annoying. I use about two to three uh, stalks of uh, rosemary. rosemary. I'll use like whatever, it's five to ten time. You just want to make sure you can wrap this thing up. I use about uh, I use like four or five of these parsley. Believe it or not, fresh parsley is a lot more fragrant than you think. I used to chop a shitload of it in a, in a restaurant and I couldn't eat it for a while. <laughs> it's fucking, I would have a pile of, of fucking parsley making me, myself sick. Smell that. Yeah. Yeah, and then when you cut it up. And then a few bay leaves. So this is your guy. I used to think this shit was so fancy, but like it, it, it's so cheap. And if you take a, a couple minutes to, to do it right, then you just pull it out, and I'll show you. I'll show you the old one. Fuck you. That happens. Asshole, bitch. <laughs> oh, so these fresh herbs that I that I keep. I told you this before in one episode. I, I make a, um, I grind up all. So these are from a previous cook, and I'll just sit them. So this is now dried time. Look at the difference. Obviously, it's yeah, it's, dehydrated. Yeah, much more crispy. And this is oregano. So I'll put them up there with this, and then yeah. I make a, I blend them all together for like a. Uh, a dry rub for poultry, chicken, even Fuck steak. Yeah. And you keep that just up. And there? I keep that right here. Oh, looks, nice. looks something like this. And I just add some uh, cumin, paprika, turmeric. Uh, it's got everything. It's pretty much every every Fuck yeah. uh, herb. So this guy, we're just gonna tie off real quick. I use every piece of the buffalo. We do. We're, we're native here, dude. All right, so this is doesn't have to be pretty. You just you have to try and lock in every angle, and you're gonna help me here. Okay, just like that. If some falls out. He gives a shit. You're just trying to get the majority. Time me off, baby. Oh boy, this is a lot of pressure. What kind of knot do you do? Just tie it twice. What are you talking about? There's no French knots, are there? Just tie it twice. French Army? The French uh, uh, National Guard? Foreign Legion. Foreign Legion, is that what they are? Yeah. They're not Rangers though, are they? No. They're not, um, what else we got? Uh, Green Beret. Yeah. Yeah. I cut some of this excess off because all this is going to do is steal sauce from our pot. We don't want no fucking pot to use. Yeah. It's not hard. Cheesecloth is very porous. Yeah, it's just going to... So I pull this up and then if you squeeze it, which I'm gonna do the other one, it's pure sex. So, so uh, this, I, we're good on that, Chris. You wanna take a sniff? Yeah. I'm gonna add, I just it's had the whole thing here. pretty strong. Uh, and then I'm gonna add the, the garlic and the bouquet. That's what they call it. An herb bouquet. <clears throat> what do you think about that, pal? Huh? That's not getting chopped on the end of the block, is it? <laughs> right. I feel like a bouquet would be tied at one end. It is tied at one end. Here, I want to feel your temperature. Why do you feel hot? No, you're saying weird shit. No, I mean, sure you don't bouquet, pass I feel like the, the flower should be coming out one end is what <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I love your answer me seriously. <laughs> no, no, that's not why I said it. Isn't I'm it? worried about it. You want to drop that book? Yeah. Bury the book. You could drop it and I'll, I'll give it a little tug. A little push. So this is what it looks like. Submerged, obviously already soaked. I'm just gonna drop this meat in. Should be cutting it close here volume wise, which is normal. Try and bury that son of a bitch. 
And get all the juice, right? Yes, all the juice. This is the stuff. All the you Can't replicate in that cardboard box of beef broth. <laughs> Shit's not real. All right, so we're gonna bring this back up to a boil. Uh, the oven, I should have said that you preheat that when you start the prep to so that it comes to a 325. <clears throat> um, but obviously there's a change in temperature of all the things you're adding, so it's gonna bring back up to a low boil. We're gonna let it bring out the other batch. We're gonna see what that looks like. And then this goes in. Most of the bones, if not all the bones, will be off the meat for sure. And then we just have to let the meat, we remove the meat. And then we're gonna let the meat cool. We're gonna tear it apart. Once it comes to room temp, oh, you like can use your- pork? Yeah, it's yeah. basically, yeah. So it just strips itself from everything. And then, um, then we're gonna reduce the liquid that it was already cooked in, like I said, to concentrate the flavors a little bit. And then the meat goes back into the, into the water. Oh, the okay. And then we'll make the planta. The planta takes like three minutes. I'll cut myself from the shredding. <laughs> we'll add some butter and cheese. And then bada bada ready. Bada boom. So this, once we drop this three hours, you know, we can go fuck off at the bar. Yeah, yeah go have a few pops. Come back pickled. And I'm gonna shit all over the place because I'm used to eating certain things. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Chris just got a, we got hit up on the Patreon. <laughs> oh, yeah. Some dude saw Chris put his arms above his head during one of the episodes and said how hot he was. And <laughs> yeah. he said his, uh, his fetish is armpit. Yeah. Yeah, he's like, he I wants you, me to send in my armpit. I guess we talked about some kind of like closeted gay fetish or some shit. I only read it once once through quickly. Yeah, I didn't you know. You were shaking the whole time. Yeah, yeah, this guy's yeah, out front. Like, oh, he's going to eat my fucking bones. Then he, I think he wants me to send the picture without my face in it. Like me just take it, just an armpit. Yeah, yeah. like slowly removing the clothes, get yeah, some off. Yeah. 50 bucks a pick, the guy offered him. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. We should offer that as a tear. That is a tear. <laughs> armpit picks and Chris. Yeah. Shirt over the face. Yeah. No face. My face can't be yeah. there. I could be the only guy that, to, to get you, you know, I could I could sell, I could dime you out. I'd be like, yeah, that's Chris's armpit. I know that armpit. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> if someone's claiming that, that celebrity yeah, armpits. Yeah. All right. I'm getting very impatient here because I want to pull this other this other batch out, but this doesn't matter too much. But you see, you got it all. Chris doesn't like when I touch things too much. He gets yeah, if you're getting fidgety, he gets. Uh... So this liquid, it's not going to reduce as much as you think because it's going to be lit. All the moisture is not being evaporated. Yeah, yeah. But it does come down a little bit, as you'll see. I'm... So I cooked in this last night, and it then I. You'd be a nice side by side. And then I switch. Yeah, that is a good point. And then I switched to this pan, because it's not as good looking, but it's effective. You'll get this, this is nice. So this is what it looks like. Coming Coming out. It's just three hours last night. Hiya, yeah. do not touch this. Anything metal that's had heat applied to it <laughs> is so, super hot. So um, be careful out there. I'll hit this. Pretty much what it looks like, and it's fucking beautiful. It's going in, that's coming out. You can see how much rich much more rich yeah, and full yeah. of flavors. You want to see what the meat looks like? It's no bone. Yeah, bones, bones slipped off. on out. Look, I see. I don't even want to squeeze it yet. Because it'll just tear? Yeah, it's already torn. So this is the part we're going to remove. So actually, I'll start doing that now while that comes to temp. So you find all the meat and all the bones. See this guy? That'll come Oh, up. a separate bowl for bones? Yeah. Will this do? Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> so these just pop, they pop right out. You see that? I think we're good. It looks like a heart. It does look like a heart. So just real quick, you see the difference. This is without the meat. Uh, this is what it'll look like in terms of consistency. It's got a nice little velvety. That's a good word to it. it. Yeah. yeah. So this is going in the pot. The time is 3:02. This will come out at six. Again, you can't overcook it. So if you get home late from your fucking softball practice because your daughter stinks, <laughs> <laughs> you can take it out at 6:37 if you want. You do. You do LARP as an old lady. Me? I feel like yeah. <laughs> so I'm putting this on low. It's already come out of a hot 325. And I'm just gonna reduce a little bit more as this uh, this meat comes to temp. 
room temp so we can shred. First thing I'm do, gonna do is get rid of these, you know, these fucking... The ligature. It's almost like a, what's that? Uh, a moosh-boosh? Yeah, what's up, what's up with the moosh-boosh? Did you look it up? Moosh-boosh is, yeah, is, is a happy mouth. Yeah, but what's, uh, what's the definition in terms of like the, not for the meaning. It's a single bite-sized order of, the, you got it absolutely right. Yeah, and dude. let's, how do you say it? Mouth yeah, a moose, a moose Mouth boo. bite, dude. A moose boo. A moose boo? A moose boo. I thought it was a bush. This is where you gotta cut the little weird pieces off? Uh, yeah, I'll show. So each of these pieces, it doesn't fall off, luckily. Sometimes it does. You see this piece here? Yeah. So there's still meat on the side, if you want to get technical. This is the part that it was wrapped around the bone. The bone, yeah. yeah. So you're just gonna, you don't even have to use a knife, it'll pull right off. Yeah. And then you can get, uh, depending on how poor you grew up, you'll probably get picky about getting a, every bit of meat off. But this is what it looks like. It just looks like a piece of... Um, oh, man. Uh, and then watch, you just, you just yeah. pull. And that's it. Fuck yeah. Just pulls like that. And every piece... Oh my God, it looks so good. So, so I'm, yeah, you could just start shredding that cheese for the polenta. You want to take an angle with the cheese so it doesn't break. <laughs> Kid never forgets anything, does he? <laughs> yeah, you know, Irish amnesia. Parts of this, parts of this, like right here, Chris. I only remember this is the actually bad natural stuff. fat. It's not that. So I keep that. Yeah, in I there. like the fat. Yeah. Yes. I only get rid of this like casing, which I somebody's love... gonna tell us online what that actually is. But it's, it almost feels like a cartilage, and it's not good. I, I love eating fat. So uh, you don't need claws, as you can see how easy this is. I'm not even like using any pressure. This is just falls apart. And all this is gonna get thrown right back into the, I mean, look at this, Chris. Look at this. Yeah. It's gorgeous. God damn. And it tears right off that, ah, it's hot. Yeah, room temp is best for this, so you don't get sloppy and try and avoid pain. Sometimes pain's good. <laughs> you know, the other day I thanked my father for hitting me with a belt. You did? Yeah, I called him, I was like, dude, I, I actually, I agree with it a little bit, but for us, I don't agree with it with children. I would never do it, but yeah. Uh, you got some great stories out of it. Yeah, I, well, so I look back like, yeah, we had to control three fucking animals in a tiny little house. Also, he was working so long. So did you, did you, did you like back, kind of backhand and insult him? It's like, I know you didn't have the words to explain. <laughs> no, 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 you don't backhand insult Steve Papa. <laughs> He'd drive ever, up here and hit you with a belt again. Yeah, well, if you ever met the man. <laughs> He didn't get a rotator cuff injury from, <laughs> from baseball. He's been beating his kids for 13 years. Look at that. That's beautiful. So this, as I said, will go all back into the, the au jus, which will make it a ragu. And then, uh, then we're fucking, we're laughing. And we're laughing. We're laughing and scratching? We are laughing and scratching. A lot of laughing and scratching going on in yeah. there. Yeah. Keep it down in there, boys. I don't know why he's Irish that's, now. That's Bates. That's old Batesy coming through. They say laughing now. There's a, there's a, yeah. it's a. You want to motherfuck me? <laughs> he would say stuff that didn't make a real, like, kind of any sense, but yeah. he's so mad that, you guys want to motherfuck me? It's like, well, I, well, I've never heard anyone say. Oh, but then he he just also made, said one time. Is this your coach? Yeah. He also said, ain't no skin off my nuts. <laughs> it's like, it's skin off your back. I'm certain it's skin off your back. I mean, how back. dumb was it, dude? Yeah, what? No, he was a bright guy. He went to like Dartmouth. Uh, but poor guy. Just you know, it was like when you get mad, sometimes you say stuff that doesn't make any sense. It's like a like you want to add a new angle to it to add like an effect, but it doesn't come out right. Yeah, it's like yeah. a like a fob, a fresh off the boat Indian type, <laughs> trying to be cool when he curses. You know what I mean? He's like, "What the fucking body dude?" It's like, <laughs> <laughs> you don't put the fuck in there. What the fuck are you going on, buddy dude? <laughs> buddy dude? There used to be this guy. There used to be this guy at uh, Dunkin' Donuts across the street from me when I lived in East Falls. Yeah. And every day before I drove in, <laughs> before I drove into work, he would say I would get the same order. I'd get a cream cheese. I'm cramping. Cream cheese, every everything bagel uh, with cream cheese. And he wouldn't let me finish. And he would like finish my coffee. I'd be like, Can I get a number two, everything bagel? Uh, you're toasted. He'd be like, with everything cream cheese, how you doing, buddy, dude? <laughs> and then I'd come around the corner and he'd be like, fuck, he's up this weekend, dude. And I'd be like, yeah, just hanging out. And he would always shoehorn in a fuck because he thought he was cool, you know? 
which could yeah, it does sound like he, he found out like he, he heard from someone that's how you get invited to weekend plans yeah, <laughs> yeah just walk up to someone you say yeah fuck up this weekend yeah dude. fuck up going down <laughs> 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 it is fun. Oh, God. You're never going to get SNL. Yeah, oh, Jesus. Who the fuck would wish that on anyone? All right, boys. Look at that. Jeez. Ooh, good work. Oh, it's going to take like three minutes. I'm going to add uh, butter and cheese. Don't tell me, up. but I Yeah, got my these thick boys are straight. sucking it up. It's talking to me, Chris. It's talking to me. What's it saying? It's saying you're not easy on the heat. <clears throat> I'm mashed potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm this actually is, uh, mashed potatoes. It's the first cousin of the mashed. <laughs> I'm probably gonna use a, a half a stick. Damn, he hungry. That's a lot of butter. I wouldn't do that much. Is it unsalted? <laughs> <laughs> That's a handful. Ooh. The stuff that hits the floor, they call that the devil's cut. <laughs> for what, a rat? <laughs> <laughs> we only need the, a little bit for the topping. Okay. Just like Pasha Fayo. Yeah, there. Now you can put anything in a pot. <laughs> You can blend anything. Yeah. No, I mean, like, if if you, if this... If it doesn't taste quite like mashed potatoes, you can blend it. Well, this is so flavor-dense. You know, sometimes you put different types of cheese in a little more stronger, pungent. More cheese? Time. Yeah, give me a little more cheese. So this is just a base layer to suck up all the flavors. You don't want to over-complicate. This. Like, if you were using a noodle, it would be a plain, plain noodle. Yeah. That's the fucking star. I gotta, I gotta shoot one <laughs> in the star. Yeah. All right. Who's the feature? Give me a stare on that, Chris, will you? Yeah. We've got front and back. That looks good. A little buttery, right. cheesy. All right, you guys ready? Quarantines. Trying to. We got time. Other than Take spilling all over the Take fucking table. Time. You're on the two yard line. Timeout's been called. We want to create a little trench there for the Jew. <laughs> I'm actually telling you guys are laughing. <laughs> Rock of Gibraltar in the middle of the Aju. Oh, Tommy. Oh, Tommy. That, my friends. Oh, Tommy. Okay. That looks nice. <laughs> Get in. <laughs> Get the fuck in. Look Another way to eat it. Burke, you want to try that? You gotta be honest. With you. Not for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Gotta get some of that parsley in there. These are all different sizes as well, obviously. Mmm. But it's steamy, Bert. Another way to do it. Watch out. I've taken to spooning things because I'm such a fucking terrible eater that I spoon stuff. That I yeah. 
I go, you look at, I see this, I go, this is a spoon job. <laughs> Sorry. Mm -mm. I'm sorry, I'm eating over here. Holy moly. That's a good. That's real nice. It warms the heart. There you go. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah, you're beautiful. Uh. Hit that bowl, hit the bowl. All right. Good Lord. Yeah, it's fucking good. I mean, how hardy and rich. What do you gotta do to make these people happy? What would Jean Marie think of that? Hmm. God. What would your mother say? It's very uh, rich. Yeah, it's a little, little heavy for the early spring. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I don't want to break this butte. How beautiful that is. In its own ugly way. Get out of there! <laughs> Fucking animal, you're just eating a plate over here! I know, but I want to get yeah. a shot of me eating the bowl. It's important that we get a shot of me eating the bowl. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's a load-bearing shot. It's mission critical. You know, contrary to what your mother would say, it's really not heavy. I don't think it's too heavy it's for not, spring. No. You can also, you can hit this with some lemon zest if it feels rich. I don't think it feels rich. It's just, it's hot. Mm. I wanna throw a little lemon zest. Do we have lemons? Mm, I don't, no. God damn it, life did not give us <laughs> any lemons. That is, that's spot on. Is this where we thank the patrons? That's, that's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this dish was about $300, so thanks for your help. It really helps. <laughs> It does <laughs> yeah, it genuinely help. So thank you. Um, mm. You know, make this at home. Send us some pictures. Yeah, um, that's important. Chris will show you his armpits if you send us pictures. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send you. Stuff. I'll send you a fart. I get pics of dudes like wearing turtlenecks and shit. I, I want to see more dishes. I, the the uh, cheesesteak I got like five or six. Couch of Pepe, believe it or not, I got like ten. Yeah. The, the pepe was a good one. People are people are making the pepe them. was really good, but this one you got to try before summer is in full swing. It's really important. Mm. Otherwise, you're gonna miss a lot of the mood, a lot of the energy. Well, so. Also, this point, when's Easter? It's coming up soon. My mom asked me if I was. This will be out by what Friday? Next Friday? Yeah. I'm sweating. Let's see. It'll be ready for Jesus' birthday. Mm -hmm. That's what, that's what <laughs> I'm saying. Yeah, no, resurrection. His, rise, his resurrection. His resurrection. Yeah. His birthday's the uh, day after Christmas. If he could last three <laughs> days on the cross, I can cut this in, in a week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, yeah, too, I need a new camera, guys. Mm -hmm. It's fucking team player. Mm. It's a shame. He's, these two dudes are vegetarians. Look at this. I am. So well, slap my lips a little. Is that firing you up? <laughs> <laughs> you guys will try this, though, right? No. Yeah, they've, they've made a commitment to Jesus. Is it about God? No. You guys are vegetarians. You're going to try this, right? <laughs> so you, you're dedicated vegetarians. You're going to try the meat? In order to be a vegetarian, you have to renounce God. That's it. Because then you can believe that animals have feelings. Unlike Jesus Christ. That's it. Jesus hates animals. Emerald Lagasse. Yeah, you do a little Emerald Lagasse yeah, thing at the end. This is Tommy Pope and I got a piss. You do a nice, do, I gotta do a nice bounce. Uh, enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> I got a piss.